might be wondering, why are we making the biggest troll level in Super Mario 3D World? About a month ago, I had an idea and I asked our very good friend Mayro if we should make a mod for each other where we move around all the green stars, hide them, and then we play each other's mods. I was having so much fun with this and I got a little carried away, so here's the level that I made for Mayro. Videos on my channel normally get crazier and crazier as we move along, and things get really, really wild towards the ends of this video as we push the limits of this game. This mod is for all of World 1, so we will start at Super Bell Hill. And the first green star isn't here by the clear pipe where it normally is, and there are so many great spots where the green stars could go. The first green star is actually down here, below the entrance to the clear pipe launcher. And because of the angles and the camera, it's pretty tough to be able to make it back up alive, but it is possible to get this green star and make it back up without dying. If you go to the bonus area where the stamp normally is, there are only blocks arranged into a smiley face with a clear pipe beneath it that makes it look like a doctor's stethoscope. You're going to have to look closely everywhere if you want to collect these green stars, because the second green star is hidden very well in this bush here, and you can just barely make out the sparkly particle effects coming off of the bush. The third green star is on the goal pole here, so it's not very hidden, but it might be tough to get the green star and reach the top of the goal pole if you want to do both of those things at once. We also hid the stamps in this mod, and this is one of the hardest stamps that I've added. You can see that there's no stamp here right now, but if you destroy this wooden crate over here to the side, it spawns the stamp when you get close to it, and you can listen to the sound of a stamp spawning when you walk by here. You can do a careful spin jump and get this stamp and make it back to land and survive without dying. I think this might be pretty difficult, but I luckily got this on my first try. You might be wondering why there are outlines for four green stars. There's also a very slow moving rabbit in the level here, and if you catch this rabbit you get a green star. But I made this green star number four, and I made the level only give you three green stars, so this green star is just a troll and it doesn't do anything when you finish the level, you still only get the first three green stars. Right at the start of Koopa Troopa Cave, it looks like you can see a green star, a stamp, and a warp box, all right there in front of you. But of course, it is so close, yet so far. It's completely surrounded by invisible walls and invisible ceilings, and there's no way to get at it from any angle. So we have to continue into the level. The green star that's normally on these cloud platforms isn't here, and if you head into the mystery box, you'll notice that there's a warp box inside here too. Defeating these Koopas doesn't spawn a green star, and if you take the warp box out of the mystery box area, it's interesting to see that the timer still continues. And when the timer runs out, you just pop out the way that you normally would. If you head up to the gold pipe area, and you can get up here just fine using spin jumps and dives, even if you don't have the cat suit power up, when you head into this pipe, you can find the first green star of the level up in the corner. You might know that sometimes defeating an enemy can spawn a green star, and breaking a wooden crate can also spawn a green star, so you'll definitely want to be defeating every enemy and breaking every crate that you see. I wanted to have a star that might be really hard if you're not really exploring a lot, and I thought this would be a good idea. This star here doesn't spawn until you break the wooden crate first, and then you head on closer to here, and it's a pretty big star when you do see it. As you continue through the level, you can head on to this part. You can do 90 degree wall jumps to get up here, and there's normally a pipe here, but I put a warp box here instead. And if these 90 degree wall jumps are too hard, because this is a spot where it is really difficult to do these 90 degree wall jumps, I made the Goomba stack here have a super bell instead of the green star so that you could get up here more easily. And when you pop into this warp box, you get the final green star and the stamp, but you have to make your way through the whole level again from the start if you want to finish the level. The Toad bonus level has a green star which does basically nothing, and in the Charge and Chuck blockade, if you play as Luigi, then you'll notice that a star power up spawns right on Luigi, the Charge and Chucks run into you, they defeat themselves, and a green star spawns right on top of Luigi, so Luigi beats the level while doing absolutely nothing, which is a really fun meme that's been around for a while. In Mount Bean if you climb up this tree, there's normally a green star up here, but instead you get to see a big bird up ahead on the mountain. And you can also get a super bell power up, which will come in handy. The first green star is underneath this bridge over here, and it's a bit difficult to get to, but it's not too bad. You can just run off and cat swipe, and then you can climb back up safely. This green pipe takes you to the room where the next green star normally is, but I've removed everything here except for these wide Goombas. Defeating these Goombas doesn't do anything, so you'll have to either reset or wait for time to run out. I was thinking of adding some spikes or lava here that you could jump onto if you realize that you're stuck here. The stamp is pretty simple in this level, just off to the side of the level, you can do a nice spin jump and cat dive back to the level. 
You might be wondering what the cloud bonus area with the green star is going to be like. Well, the cloud is upside down, so this happens when the cloud cannon launches Mario. Yes, Mario gets launched out like that. That is right. That is just like what we saw in my video when I was making enemies upside down in Super Mario 3D World. And at the end of the cloud bonus area, instead of a green star, there is a large bird. I put a green star up here on the other peak and it's a bit too high to jump to, but luckily there's an invisible block that I put here. And it's a bit difficult to make it up onto this block, but you can do a jump and then a dive right away and then you can jump right as you land on the block so you don't slide off it and you can get the green star here. It's pretty tough, but it is possible to do with Mario. We've got another big bird down here and at the end of the level here, there's only one tree instead of three. And if you climb up that one tree, you end up getting the final green star. And I thought it'd be funny to put the goal pole a bit below the level like this and what happens is you slide down below the level and you clear the course while floating down here. I also added a green star to the roulette room even though this basically does nothing and I think the first person that I saw do this on YouTube was our very good friend and longtime viewer clothing hanger who also has some great videos on modding. In Plessy's Plunging Falls there are many NPCs waiting to greet you at the start and a green star which is nice because green stars are supposed to be hard to get in this mod right? And the Plessies that are all here are all NPCs so you can't ride on any of them you can only bounce on them. As you make your way through the level the next green star is right here but but it doesn't fill up the next green star slot because both of these green stars are green star ID number zero so that means that they both count as the first green star and so does the next green star and the next one and the next one and the next one. There's some extra time to collect since the level is a bit slow without Plessy and the next green star also doesn't count as a new green star. You might be wondering if the next green star is finally the second green star but nope. You continue through the level and you see a giant green star. This has to be it, right? Are we finally going to get our second green star? Nope, just 4,000 points and no new green stars. There's a little green star and then a green star ring and you've got to be thinking, okay, finally, we're going to get our next green star after collecting these coins from the green star ring. But after you collect the eighth coin and all the green stars around here, you see that they're all still the first green star of the level. Then there's a circle of green stars with an elevated green star in the center. Okay, all of the lower ones might be the first green star, but maybe the upper one is a new green star? And the thing is, you've really got to check all of these green stars if you're playing this mod because you don't know if some random green star is going to be the one that you need. But all these green stars here are all still green star number one. There are some green stars arranged into the shape of an arrow and a sign showing you to go into the secret waterfall, but I added an invisible wall here so that you can't go through. But I also added a super bell here so you could climb up here and there's a new invisible platform so you can get all the way up here to the top part of the waterfall. There's a pretty cool view here and it's funny that the ground is actually so low down here so it looks like you're under the water. You can run along here and eventually you get far enough to drop down to this section that's normally behind the waterfall but there's nothing here, especially not the next green star. And from just the right angle, you can actually hit this block and have a Mega Mushroom come out and then you can have Giant Mario walking around underwater here through this narrow corridor, but there's of course nothing here. If you continue along the level using the other path, there's another Mega Mushroom here for Giant Mario, a superstar power up with two more green stars, and a few power ups to collect along the way. You can get a Fire Flower and a Boomerang power up, you don't need them or anything, they're just there. There's also a 1 up resting on the water and there are two trees and some bushes here. And you might suspect that you have to do something with this to get the green star. Maybe a green star spawns if you climb up the tree or walk into the bushes, but nothing happens. This part might look a little weird with the splounders all facing the wrong way, and I don't know why, but it was hilarious to me to see them slowly turning towards you and face you as you get close to them. It's like they're all looking forward and watching a movie, and Mario is coming by and disturbing them, so they all stare at Mario as he runs by. There's no green star here where you drop down and all the trees and bushes here have been removed except for one. You might be starting to think that you've missed something in the level. Where could the green stars and the stamp be? And if you try to interact with this bush or ground pound here, that's not what spawns the star. So you go into the pipe and shortly after that, you realize that all the green stars that you've been collecting all this time weren't important. All you needed was just one of them because the second and third green stars and the stamp are all here in the final room. Then you slide down the goal pole and float in the air to celebrate the course being cleared and the course clear message covers your face. In Switch Scramble Circus, there are a lot of switch panels to step on, so I removed some of them so you could go through the level more quickly and yes, you can fall through these holes. 
I also gave these jump panels a jump height of zero, so that it's more fun to try to climb up here and to try to not fall into these holes. The green star that's normally up here is of course gone because I moved it, and you've already made it halfway through the level now with no green stars yet, so you might be wondering if you've missed anything. This next section has some more switch panels removed so that you can get by more quickly, and these jump panels all have a jump height of zero again. The mystery box takes you to an area with one wooden crate, and the question mark block has a mega mushroom, and it's funny that if you take the mega mushroom and you complete the mystery box, you end up normal size when you return. I made it so that if you get all these red coins from the red coin ring, then you get a boomerang power up, and then when you head up here, the last jump panel does go very high. And also, you could use the boomerang power up as an easy way to get the green star in the center here, because there are no moving platforms now. You can try bouncing on the magic koopa to get the green star, but I don't know if you could survive after that, it'd be really tough. You can now get the super bell power up that's here in the corner, and I removed an invisible ceiling here so that you could climb up to the green star that is up here on the wall. And it's a bit of a difficult jump because if you climb up too high then you can't dive up to the top because there's a lip that sticks out and pushes you down, so you have to do a jump and a dive at just the right moment. If you try to reach the green star by jumping off the jump panel and diving, you'll be met with an invisible wall that doesn't let you reach. And you want to climb up onto the top of this wall after you activate all the switch panels down there, because then you could walk along the top part here, and you'll want to get the stamp that's floating off in the distance, and then do a cat dive back to safety. I left the gold pole where it was, but I was thinking that it might be fun to put the gold pole on top of that block there where the stamp normally is. And before we do Bowser's Highway Showdown, which is the craziest level of all, only the Captain Toad level is left otherwise. You can see one green star off to the side of the level when you start, and you might be wondering where the other green stars are. Where could they be? You search through the level, and you can't find any of them. Let's just go for this one first green star, I guess, and then we'll see where the other green stars are, maybe. And when you drop off the cliff to get that green star, you actually collect all the green stars at once because they're all stacked together. In Bowser's Highway Showdown, there's no green star ring at the start of the level, and instead of there being a stamp back here behind this wall, there is a warp box. And if you head into this warp box, you end up at the end of the level, and this Sprixie is calling out for help in this cutscene. You can get some extra time and a green star, but there's an invisible wall preventing you from reaching the flag and finishing the level, and this invisible wall extends out really far, so you are going to have to complete the level. You can pop into this clear pipe here to go and get the stamp that's inside the clear pipe, and it is a long ride around because I set the pipe to go as slowly as possible, so it's a good thing that there's some extra time for Mario. I was thinking of maybe putting this pipe a bit higher up because I'm not sure if you could reach the stamp from the other side. When you finally make it out of the clear pipe, you can pop back into the warp box and return to the level. You might remember that there are normally thwomps here, and then you see a thwomp shoot down and another one. The thwomp slowly carries you up very high to a green star going higher than it normally does, and there's a sign suggesting that you go upwards even more. Luckily, there's a second thwomp here that carries you up, and when I first designed this level, I made the thwomps go up way higher, and you'd have to wait a few minutes to be able to make it all the way up, but it went so far that Mario reached a death area, and it was taking too long, so I shortened it a bit. This second thwomp that Mario rides takes him up to the final green star, and then you can make your way down, and there's also another thwomp that just goes sideways like a madman. And now, it is time to head to the boss fight, Mario vs. Bowser. As you can see, I've added a few options here for you. You can use the light box power up if you want. I don't know why you'd want it, but you can. And then something crazy happened, and I have to slow this down so we can see this sequence of events as it unfolds. Mario gets damaged by an exploding soccer ball, he loses his light box power up, and the explosion makes a mega mushroom spawn from the box. Mario gets the propeller box and dives towards the cannon box. Now over here, Mario gets the Mega Mushroom power up, the propeller box falls off Mario, and he grows into the cannon box power up. But the shape of the cannon box power up is all wrong and it's at a weird angle. But the strangest thing of all is that when you zoom in, you see this. This is what you see! Look at it! Look at it! Do not avert your gaze from this Mario! This Mario and his serious expression wants to be seen! Why is this Mario sticking out at the top of the cannon box like this? Why? What is Bowser doing? This is the Mario vs. Bowser fight that we all needed but never deserved. This is the Mario vs. Bowser fight to settle all Mario vs. Bowser fights forever. After Bowser sees Mario in his true form, Bowser will back off and never go after Princess Peach again. There is this joke that Mario dies on March 31st, but on June 30th, 2021, Mario was born again. 
and he was born into his final form. So since the cannon box is crookedly on Mario's head, he can't shoot straight and he shoots at an angle. But eventually, the Mega Mushroom wears off, and Mario realizes that a regular cannon box is enough to take out Bowser. You might be wondering what happens if you go to the end of the level, and then you try to go back to the warp box there. Well, you can end up on the other side of this invisible wall, but then you can't make it back. If you head into the warp box, guess what? The earlier part of the level is unloaded now, so Mario just falls. So yeah, make sure to complete the level after beating Bowser. I love testing what is possible in games, and if you like seeing stuff like this, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe, and you might enjoy some of my other videos. We are getting so close to 1! 100,000 subscribers, and this channel is almost one year old, so I'd really appreciate you subscribing if you haven't already. If you thought that this level design was really fun, and you'd like to see our victim, I mean, dear friend, play through this level, go check out Mayro's channel. Mayro is amazing. Mayro is going to have a video about playing through this level, and I'm also going to make a video about playing through the level that Mayro made, so you'll want to be subscribed to make sure that you don't miss that. If you've made it this far into the video, just thank you so much for being part of this journey, and I'm so glad that I could make this video for you. I hope that you have amazing things in store for you for the rest of your day and take care everybody.